Hey guys, welcome back to Ida's Garage. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I'm finally in Guam, guys. Um, I'm going to be here for another week or so. I've been here for about two weeks right now. And um, uh, this is going to be my last stop before I go back to the mainland United States. Can't wait for that. But however, while I'm here, I'm going to show you some amazing, amazing views of Guam and also of this amazing Mercedes W140. Um, and this car has been sitting for a while and um, it's actually my good friend's uh, mechanics place so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna try to help them out and uh, save this car get it going get it uh, running uh, yeah I love W140's amazing machines they don't make them like they used to this is a real tank guys all right so yeah let's uh, go ahead and enjoy some amazing Guam views right now Look at that drag strip. That's crazy. And also look at that BMW. Partially blocked off. I like that. <laughs> Sheesh. Yep. That's my bull right there. It's the big boy. Big, big, big. Anyways, I reunited with these amazing guys here, amazing guys, and I had a, such a fun time talking to them. George and Sons guys, Performance Auto, are super amazing guys here in Guam. Uh, I've met them like a couple years ago and it's been awesome. They've been super busy like always fixing a lot of these cars and also a bunch of Japanese cool little trucks, K-trucks or what have you. But yeah, I came here to say hi and uh, apparently a lot of them recognize me, which is awesome. So yeah, we're going to have some cool fun here. Uh, I'll come back a couple uh, or probably this week and we're going to film some more videos, some more and more cool videos, especially because they have some cool cars like classic Mercedes and another classic BMW. So stay tuned. Oh, you bought it. Not me, that guy. Oh, somebody else. Oh, nice. But, uh, From Japan. There's a problem with the. They somebody overhauled the engine in Japan. Really? But it wasn't that good job or what? I think it was lousy. Uh, the, the so you'll be fixing this. You're the master. Yeah. Wow, I like that. Look at that. Is that like Nardi steering steering wheel or something? Wow. You got it right. I'm that good. Yeah, that's Nardi. Yep. <laughs> That's a cute little truck. I love these. <laughs> guys, what do you guys think about this little amazing machine? This is the truck that you actually need. You don't need those big, crazy pickup trucks. This is the perfect size truck that you need. You can haul anything in this thing that you want. Stick shift two leg. Crazy. 
right, doggies? What do you guys think? That K truck is cool, huh? Yeah, I think so too. Let me guess, this was made in the 90s. Yeah, this is a 90s. This one Cute is little truck. 1995. <laughs> You're the first one to, who I, I saw that, you know, yeah. looking at the seat belt to see the manufacturer date. Yeah. No, they taught us that. They taught us yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a good thing to look at. Yep. Really cool. All right, guys. Well, this is an amazing machine. This is a, a 90s early pre facelift S420 uh, W140 chassis. Uh, this car, I don't know if you remember the video, but um, uh, we did have this car running like two years ago. Um, didn't have really that many problems. Um, I'll probably leave the video on the link in the description down below so you guys can see it. But however, this car is currently just sitting here um, and nobody is really doing anything uh, to it. Um, and uh, I haven't talked to the owner uh, much about the details of this car. However, um, I'm going to uh, help this, you know, the owner of this shop out and uh, I want to go ahead and save this car. I want to start it up because currently the owner is saying that the fuel pump is uh, not coming on or whatever, but it's been sitting like this for a while. Uh, it's got an amazing M119 engine um, and we're going to go ahead. I'll probably come back uh, this week and we will try to start this car and uh, uh, you know we will make sure that uh, this car is back on the road so I can't wait hopefully uh, hopefully everything goes well and I have enough time to come back and get this car running um, however as you guys can see it's been here for a while it needs to be washed it needs uh, quite a bit of work um, and uh, yeah other than that such an amazing machine classic Mercedes W140 honestly if you compare this car to like a W124 or W210 right there the dog is running he knows what I'm talking about yeah yeah dog you know cutie uh, but anyways so if you compare this chassis to like a 124 or um, you know W210 if you look at the front suspension of this car like and how massive and big this front suspension is it's pretty insane this thing is literally a tank it's got double windows uh, it's got it's got a bunch of cool things this car has uh, also a lot of people don't understand but the wipers on this car they work the opposite direction so a lot of people think that oh you have the wipers installed on the wrong wrong side um, which is not true this uh, actually they they do wipe so if your steering wheel is on the left side this is how the wipers are positioned on the W140. What's really cool about this car is that it still has everything original. It has the wheels, the original 16 inch. It's got the headlights and it's also got everything else. Um, like wipers, I really love that. I really love the fact that the headlights are actually original. Um, they're, originally, they're really like pre-facelift style headlights where you can see the yellow fog lamps uh, it's pretty amazing just like my w140 so anyways um, as you can see everything has been sitting for a while um, so everything needs a lot of help a lot of love and all that so uh, hopefully um, I should have enough time to come back here and get this car going however if anything um, I mean I can't promise you everything but if anything the owner will get this car going at some point for sure that's why it's here that's why it's not left alone and not thrown away unlike there's a lot of cars in Guam guys that have been just abandoned or sitting just because they probably have like a couple issues here and there you know people just throw them away or whatever which is pretty sad however this car uh, is you know I wouldn't say like it, it's in good hands guys all right it's um, mechanics uh, the mechanics so uh, that's why I'm here I'm, I'm gonna help him out and get uh, you know we're gonna try to get this car going and we're gonna try to start it up um, I'm just hoping that he's gonna get the parts that we need um, which I told him to do it tomorrow so he will try to go ahead and order the fuel pump and something else but um, here in Guam it's a little bit of a pain to order parts for these cars uh, they have a few Napa stores though, so that's what he's gonna try to do. He's gonna try to go to Napa and get some parts for this amazing machine. And you know, this is not the only classic Mercedes that I saw here in Guam. There's actually quite a few other ones that I've seen. I've seen a couple W202s that were just abandoned. Um, and then I saw actually a W123 Mercedes here in Guam that's been, uh, somebody's been driving it and taking care of it and everything. So that's nice. 
so that's awesome guys um, and then uh, I'm gonna show you the interior in a little bit um, and yeah I'll come back like I said guys I'll come back in a couple days and we're gonna try to get this car uh, going uh, I really feel bad for this car I don't want it uh, I want to see this car uh, running and driving again um, if we look at the tires, the tires are a little um, dry rotted. All right, they're not in the best shape. They still have tread, but they're a little dry rotted, and um, the brakes are pretty rusty too. Um, you know, it hasn't been uh, driven for quite a while. I'm guessing in the two years. So what I think happened is since the last time when I started, which was uh, right there, um, then they moved it right here, and it never uh, it never started again. So we have to go ahead and fix that for sure. So this is how the interior looks guys, I mean it's pretty amazing, amazing quality and everything it just needs to be cleaned up, there's quite a few things, uh, I would love to condition this, or I would love to clean this leather and condition it with leather conditioner to make it amazing, uh, look at all this, it's so beautiful, awesome, um, cream leather, it's, it's amazing, this car needs a love, so we need to, we need to give this car all the love, so after we get this car going, I want to wash this car and I want to go ahead and detail this car as well so we should have enough time to do all that so I'm gonna really focus on that and uh, get it going yep as you guys can see <laughs> some of the lug bolts are missing on this car so yeah this car <laughs> will need at least two new lug bolts or used ones Just look at these amazing door panels, guys. How beautiful it is, and look at those wood trims. Uh, it's just pretty amazing. And this door is pretty long because my W140 is a short wheelbase. This one is a long wheelbase. But look at this big door. It's pretty insane, okay? It's pretty, pretty insane, guys. So, yeah, they used to make amazing cars back then. They really did. I just don't understand what happened to Mercedes. Um, and I'm talking to all the other manufacturers. It's just not the same anymore. Like why can't new leather last as long as this one in this car? Obviously like there's some wear on the armrest, but that's okay. That's not a huge deal. Okay. I mean, it just all depends how the owner treated it before and how, you know, the friction caused all that on the armrest but that's about it but yeah as you can see guys beautiful interior beautiful switches and everything unfortunately the left front door is locked right now so i'm not going to go in there but we will film some more videos later on and uh i will show you some more but there's a lot of cleanup that needs to be done there's some rust that this car has unfortunately and i'm just a little upset because somebody at some point in the past installed this uh, glass sunroof i don't think if it works or not i think it's just like a glued in glass that's what i'm thinking as you guys can see the owner has a lot of other cars has this cool uh, bmw e39 that's been sitting here for a while i remember he told me a story that he bought this car uh, quite a while ago and it had an issue with the engine and he still he just hasn't had uh, time to um, you know take care of this car to fix it um, so it's just been sitting like this as you can see the sun has been really hard here in Guam so as you can see the taillights are just completely faded and everything and some of these cars are his cars some of these cars are his customers cars so it just depends to be honest with you uh, like this car right here this is a 90s legendary 90s uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse so I don't know if that's his I think that's his some of these cars are however his customers cars like I'm sure that this is his customers car um, and it's just been sitting here for a while uh, so I don't know what's wrong with that I really don't know all the stories of these cars but some of these cars are his cars and it's good because they're in good hands sooner or later he will get to these cars it's just like I said guys, he's just been so busy, he's working on a lot of other cars and his customers' cars are always a uh, priority, guys, so... Guys, I need you to keep your fingers crossed for this week. I hope I will have time to come back and I hope we will have all the parts to fix this car. I haven't looked at this car yet, but like I said, the owner is saying that the car cranks but doesn't start. But 
I need you guys to uh, help me out. I need you to uh, put it under in the comments, uh, you know, just support me and I hope I can come back here and get this car rolling because I would really love to have like another week he left here in Guam. And the owner is a little busy right now, but uh, he told me to come back in about uh, three days or so when he's going to be, he's going to have more time so we can take care of this amazing car and get it back on the road. So, and I also hope that he doesn't forget and goes to Napa. Uh, tomorrow to order that fuel pump which is really really important because that's what he thinks is wrong with this car the fuel pump doesn't come on with the key on so we're gonna figure that out on uh, you know in a few days but um, I really really hope that we have all the resources that we need we obviously have all the tools but I hope we have all the resources and everything all the tools or all the parts and the time and everything works out and we're gonna go ahead and get this car back on its feet uh, which I really really hope for that it hasn't been washed for a long time, at least uh, two or three years. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of buildup everywhere, a lot of garbage. Um, this is just what happens when you park your car outside in Guam, unfortunately. Uh, this is what the nature likes to do to these cars in Guam. In Washington State, it's a little different, guys. In Washington State, if you park your car outside, it's gonna actually like start growing moss in like spots like these, which is really, really funny. It's a little different than what happens to Guam. However, there's some kind of like moss right there starting, really interesting, um, and it's just, Lot, mainly it's just lots of dirt and junk and garbage that accumulates on the car paint. Quick little glance guys inside the car once again. Okay, amazing machine. No cracks in the da dash, I'm so surprised. Uh, yeah, I would really really love to um, take care of the interior, detail it, clean it. Unfortunately the bottoms of the doors are uh, rusty, which is pretty sad. Um, there is rust, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to take care of any rust that this car has, but at least I'll try to do some on this. Oh, I'm really, really sad about the part that somebody just decided to cut or remove the old, uh, amazing metal uh, sunroof and just slap on some glass sunroof, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't work at all. It's just probably like glued on or something. I can see like the caulking or something, so I'm pretty sure that this is not even installed right but it's sad guys I mean sometimes there's there's people who uh, really don't deserve to own uh, amazing cars like this you know yeah so I'll have to close this door a little better but uh, anyways uh, there's lots of things that need to be done to this car this is stuck in I'm guessing maybe the switch got broken or something there's a switch that you can press to actually fold your mirrors in which is really really cool feature uh, I may actually have because these 140s also have issues with the wiring on the mirrors right there so maybe that's the issue on one of them because one of them is folded in like this one and the other one is spread out it's uh, it's out it's not folded in so that could be an issue with the wiring so I don't know if I'll have time to get to that but like I said the main goal is to get this car rolling get it going start it drive it around a little bit you know that's that's my main goal guys What's really awesome, guys, is like I really, really love the stickers. The, cl the stickers on classic cars, and especially these. I mean, as you see, all of these are really in great shape. Premium, unleaded gasoline only. And it actually, this car still has original gas cap, which is amazing, as you can see right there. Pretty crazy, huh? Like I said guys, I really really love uh, and I'm just digging the look of pre faced of W140s like this. This is just such a classy look uh, with these bumpers and these headlights and also the headlight wipers. It's just so beautiful uh, because in 96 they changed the body style. It was already facelift to the W140 which looks a lot more aggressive. I agree. However, it's just not the same. As of for myself, I mean, obviously, I would own any W140 out there. I don't care. I love them all. But as far as like the most favorite one, it's gonna be one of these guys, guys. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for uh, this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for all of you who support me on uh, Patreon, who donate money every month. That means a lot. That means that all that money will go into saving classic Mercedes thank you guys so much for everything you guys are amazing you guys are all my my friends my family and um, like I said you guys can 
uh, always text me if you need any help and I'd be like I said I'd, I would love to hang out with you someday maybe one day we will do a, you know a car cruise around the entire United States who knows <laughs> but um, yeah there's a lot of plans in the future guys so thank you so much for all your patience like I said this is gonna be my last stop here in Guam until I go back to my mainland and I continue my journey with my amazing classic cars